Welcome to the end, friend. Hello, friends. This is David C. Drake, the Golden Drake, and today we are once again playing some Hearthstone. Now, the last time I did a Hearthstone video, it was to show you my 500th win as the Paladin class. This time, I'm going to get my 500th win as the Hunter. Now, why do we care about 500 wins in the first place? Well, this is just kind of a fun milestone for people who have been playing this game for a long time that uh, also provides a couple of rewards. The main reward is a golden or animated version of the main hero for that class. Uh, for example, Uther right here. He is the main paladin hero. I will serve. And this is the animated golden version of the Uther Lightbringer hero that I won for getting my 500th win as that class. Now, as you can see, uh, most of these, I, I have not uh, achieved that yet. I mean, you will see some other animated heroes here in my hero collection. That's just because these are these are other special heroes that I received as rewards for other achievements in the game or just during some special promotion. But uh, for all of the basic heroes, except for Paladin, I have not yet gotten the golden version. So here we have the main warlock, the main shaman, the main warrior, rogue, Priest, Mage, Druid, and Hunter. Only beasts are above deceit. So this is the main Hunter class hero, Rexar. And uh, here we have the normal version. If I get my 500th win today, I will get a golden or animated version of this hero. And uh, but while I'm playing today, I'm going to be using this other. Show me a challenge, <laughs> and I shall overcome it. <laughs> this other special version of Rexar called Dragonstalker Rexar. Uh, this was uh, this was a special uh, version of Rexar that I got uh, for achieving. I don't know. I think it was for some completing some type of quest, and I like this one a lot. Partly because of the uh, dragon motif, but also because it has, I, I would say, a little bit of a Chinese aesthetic. Anyway. There are sometimes special heroes that you can purchase. Uh, there's a lot here that I have not collected. In, in general, I consider heroes not something that's worth spending money on. I mean, I don't think I don't think people should be spending excessive amounts of money on games in general. You know, a little bit here and there to support the developers and the upkeep costs. You know, is is a good thing, but uh, you know, these are not so important. One set that I was a little tempted to get at one point was the Chinese-themed set. With honor! As someone who speaks Mandarin Chinese and has a lot of interest in Chinese culture, I was definitely a little bit tempted by that set. Uh, who knows, someday if it's available again I might pick it up, but uh, it's not a major priority for me. Anyway, so yes, today I will be using this Hunter Hero. I will be using a deck called Arcane Archer. It is so named because... It is a deck that is almost entirely spell focused. There are no minions in this deck. The only things in here besides spells are, you know, maybe one or two weapons, such as Rock Dalar, Battlecry. If your deck has no minions, fill your hand with Hunter spells. So that's pretty cool. And I also have this hero card, Zul'jin. Cast all spells you've played this game, targets chosen randomly. And as you can imagine, that can be a very powerful effect in a deck that's filled uh, almost entirely with spells. So. Uh, this should be a fun and interesting way to get my 500th win. By the way, aside from getting a special version of the main hero card, because you also complete a quest, as they call it, for, uh, for reaching that milestone, you also get a golden version of a certain card for that class. So last time when I got my 500th win as Paladin, I received this golden version of Tyrion Fordring. So that's kind of cool too. Anywho. Uh, let's stop blathering and get on with this. I'm, again, going to be using my Arcane Archer deck. It's always a fun challenge to have a deck that has zero minions in it. I think it's really enjoyable. Uh, Hunter is one of my favorite classes to do that with. Mage can be a lot of fun, too. Uh, others tend to be a bit more, a bit more challenging, but uh, it can be fun with any class. And it's not too much of a challenge in general because most classes do have... Rexar Ooh! Rexar. Rexar versus Rexar and my opponent here, as you can see. I hear the call he has already received his golden animated version of the main Rexar Hunter. 
uh, uh, hero card. Uh, let's see here. Let's hope to draw some more low-cost cards. Okay, so here we go. Hunter versus Hunter, Rexar versus Rexar. It is on. Now, do I want to use my coin right now? Probably not. Now you're probably noticing this jovial music. Uh, the music does sometimes differ depending on the, uh, the battleground landscape that is chosen for our match. This one's a little bit, uh, a little bit goofy, as they generally tend to be. Um, now let's see what secret should I put out there. Yeah, I guess that one. One thing that I think is a lot of fun in in this game is for all of these battleground backgrounds that they have created, there are things you can do to interact with it. I'll play around with that a little bit more when it's the opponent's turn again. Now let's see here. Let's go ahead and cast this. And, hmm, maybe that one too. So yeah, during your opponent's turn, if you're bored, there's lots of silly things you can do. In fact, I think all of these backgrounds tend to have certain secret events that can occur if you click certain things in the right order and whatnot. I mean, I don't care that much about that, but uh, it's, it's kind of fun if you're bored on the opponent's turn to uh, at least have some stuff you can click on. For some reason, that created Dave. <laughs> a fruit or vegetable in the test tube, whatever. Like I said, you can you can get a lot of crazy things to happen uh, if you know the right sequence to uh, click things in, but whatever. Now, why is my opponent taking so long on his turn? Come on, let's keep this moving. Well, if he's really not paying attention, that might make this match particularly easy. We'll see. Ooh. Nice. Wow. Well, this is probably a good time to cast Petting Zoo. Summon a 3 3 Strider, repeat for each secret you control. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. And while we're at it, by his will, let's get another duel in play. So please go ahead and attack me. Let me get a three-three bear with taunt out in play. As I was going to say earlier, uh, playing with a deck that has no minions in it is generally not too bad because most of the classes have a lot of cards, such as these and others that I've played or have in my hand here, as you can see. A lot of cards that can allow you to get minions into your hand or into play without requiring them to be in your deck in the first place. So. It's not too bad. Well, I can get some overkill here. First, let's... Hmm. Oh boy, what to do. Let's attack him first. That might have been a slight mistake. <laughs> it's alright though. Now 
got a 5-5 Devil Sword out there. to look like I might not win this one, but uh, we shall see. I love cards to let you discover a new card. It's always nice. Clearly that was not my 500th win, <laughs> but we shall try again. Oh, that's right, I also had a quest to complete, to play three games as Hunter. So, Beasts of Burnden, hmm. We got a pack of cards for completing that, we might as well open that real quick. Oh, what was that new quest? I missed that. Play ten games as Shaman. Embrace the Fire Lord. Okay. Let's see if we get anything special this time. One rare card here. Alright. And four commons. Okay. I think it's all stuff that I already owned before. Anyway, let's get back into another match as the Arcane Archer. So this time we face a mage. This should be uh, an interesting match. He will probably be a formidable opponent. I mean, mage decks, just in my experience in general, they, they often tend to be difficult, especially if you're facing off against someone who is a major Hearthstone player, who, as I assume this player is based on their uh, special mage hero image that they're using. This is uh, an unusual one. I forget how that one is earned, or perhaps it's one that he purchased, I'm not sure. But this is the Prodigal Son, apparently, that I'm facing now. You know, I'm gonna hold off on playing my secrets, I'm just gonna deal some damage for now. Do what to do. Let's go with this one. Do I want to play this one first, though? Sure, why not? Hmm. I could do with some spell damage. Something. 
thing needs tinkering? Well, now. Let's go ahead and get this explosive trap in play. Do a little damage. Probably use this next turn. Oh, he's not attacking. All right, then. Hold off on bringing that guy out to like sure I can use him. All right, not too shabby. King of Beasts, bloated python, venom strike bow. Poisonous means any minion I attack will die automatically damage from this weapon. Anyway, finally he attacked me. And let's see what's I can fix anything. Ooh, what to do, what to do. I don't want to bring him out when he's four ones. Just way too easy to kill at that point. I wonder. So, perhaps this and this. Okay. This will be handy. Summon all three animal companions. Things are definitely, definitely precarious now. Hmm. Let's see what I can get with this. For now, I think it's best that I summon a top minion and uh, hope for the best. Uh oh. Not good. I think I'm losing again, folks. So much for that attempt. But we will give us another go. So we faced off against a hunter, we faced off against a mage. What will it be this time? It's possible my deck could use a little tweaking to make it stronger. But uh, I've made similar decks in the past and usually it's performed a little bit better than this. So <laughs> either I'm just not at my best today or I'm having unlucky draws. the call of the wild. Okay. This time I face a priest.
There are, of course, some priest decks that can be very formidable as well. Uh, some can be particularly frustrating, in fact, where they are able to bring back a lot of nasty minions back to life again and again. Let's discover a secret. And hope for the best. See, this gets upgraded every time I play a secret. Nice to get that in my hand early on. So next turn I could use the coin to get myself four or three three wolves if I want. Accept my humble thanks. Let's go ahead and do that. Happy Midsummer Festival. Happy Midsummer. Happy Midsummer indeed. Tonight, a tale of terrible tragedy. Hmm. Wow. Okay. this. That. Let's get rid of that guy. And get rid of that guy. And then... Let's just use this. I think it's time to try to deal as much damage as I can, as quickly as I can, before she has a chance to... Uh, Recover from this situation. Oh, <laughs> okay, so much for that. Thank you. Well, I think we've maxed out our secrets for better or worse Warriors of the frozen oh now please cast a spell as soon as you can Please cast a spell. Or just... What is Elune's will? Hmm. Feel free to attack me. Nope. <laughs> yeah, you are right to be scared. Well then. Yes, let's go ahead and use this first. Uh -huh. Not bad. Not bad at all. Let none survive! Right in the face! Okay. This probably won't last long, but it is nice to have my own. <laughs> Lich King for a little while. Wow. 
What is a loon's will? I think I'm going to win this one. I'll hold on to that. Right in the face! There's a tiny chance I could win next turn, but I've got a feeling I should. Oh boy, yep. <laughs> That's going to make things more difficult. Let's go ahead and just get rid of that. Quite good. Got them on the left and the right. Excellent. Here we go. Just hoping to use this later on, but I better just go ahead and use it now. Here comes the big axe. So now it's casting all the spells that I cast previously. Now the secrets are not going to do me any good, but those spells definitely will. A lot of secrets. Okay, there we go. Four wolves again. Let's go ahead and equip a new weapon. I think I should be able to win next turn. What have you got, priest? Gotta love those horrible puns. Um, let's see now. Yeah, I think I should be able to finish this. Now it's good. And there it is. Achieve the hunter victory quest. Or got that achievement, I should say. So here it is. 500 wins! Why? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Am I, am I really seeing what I'm seeing? I, I was not expecting this. It's showing a golden animated version of Vol'jin, the troll hero that I was using. Is that what I actually get for my 500th win? Or do I get the golden animated version of Rexar? I honestly do not know. Uh, <laughs> wow, if it really gives you a golden version of the hero that you were using, not the hero you started with, or not the main basic hero for that class, 
that's a big surprise to me. Uh, maybe I should have done a little more research before I went into this, but uh, yeah, I did not expect that. And especially since I think during part of that animation, I think it was still showing the basic Rexar hero. So we'll see when I go into my collection what it actually shows there. All right. Fine, fine. Let's go back. First of all, let's go to our journal. Check out our achievements here. Because we did get an achievement for that 500th win as well. Here it is, Hunter Victory. Win 500 games as Hunter in ranked arena or duels. Aha, we get a Golden King Crush. That is fantastic. Beautiful. Who doesn't love a giant dinosaur? Um, now then. Oh yes, first things first, let's disenchant some extra cards. Take a look at our new cards. Good old King Crush. The best defense against King Crush is to have someone you don't like standing in front of you. Excellent. Ah yes. Yeah, you know what, I don't need two of these. So. Let's take a look at our heroes here. Yeah, okay. So, sure oh, enough. Beasts are above deceit. <laughs> sure enough, what it actually gave me was an animated golden version of Rexar. And that is what I expected and wanted. Frankly, I wouldn't... I, I don't think I would care as much about getting an animated Zul'jin. Um, he only feels at home in the wilderness with his beasts. Super secret, Misha is his favorite. Anyway. Uh, let's go ahead and make this my favorite uh, hunter hero. I do like Dragonstalker. Challenge, and I shall overcome it. <laughs> I do like Dragonstalker Rexar quite a bit, but yes, for a while I'll use this uh, this Rexar instead because getting 500 wins, you know, that, that that's that's quite a milestone as a long-term Hearthstone player. Uh, the next milestone for each of these heroes would be, I guess, to get a thousand wins. I'm not sure if uh, if if I'll you know if I'll ever. <laughs> if I'll ever achieve that, because who knows, I might end up getting bored with this game over the next year or two. Hard to say, but uh, we'll see. So, there we have it. I will serve. 500 wins with Paladin, 500 wins with Hunter. Only beasts are above to see. And that's that for today's video. So I appreciate you watching, and if you enjoyed it, please do like the video, also subscribe so you can see more of my content. And if you want to support my work creating videos and also creating games as the founder and lead game developer at Golden Drake Studios, please consider supporting me on Patreon. You can go to patreon.com slash thedrake, and that's where you can support me. And anyway, hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, and take excellent care of yourself and everyone around you.